Hello everybody, I hope you're doing great and feeling well. Today I'm honoured to introduce one of the most completest and powerful products which is created up to now to change and turn images into a bitmap effect which our designers have created this product with a totally new formula which allows you to use any photo, any image or any design you like uh, doesn't matter what resolution it is in in a bitmap artwork just with a single click so after you uh, run this uh, bitmap of photoshop action you're going to face a huge amount and large number of options settings and colorful palettes which are brilliant and are all going to be in separate layers and separate groups which makes it so easy for you to work with and so easy for you to change the options and adjust the settings and get to the best results possible so just follow me to the end of this video and I'm going to show you how you can work with this powerful product. So to get started, after you download the Bitmap of Photoshop Action from the first folder which is Install, we have Bitmap Action and Bitmap Pattern right here. To install each one of them, the easiest way to do it is just to double click on each one separately and come back here and the same with the next one. So uh, to make sure if our uh, pattern and action is installed, we just come to edit right here. We come to the presets section, presets manager. We select patterns from here. So uh, we should have a black color, for instance, pattern right here in your panel, which this is our bitmapper pattern. So you might have uh, many more patterns over here, but don't forget that the last pattern should be this black pattern. So we hit done. We come to our actions from window right here. Uh, you also might have uh, many more actions in uh, this uh, panel right here, but Bitmap by Hyperpix is what we need. So uh, we're going to run Bitmap by Hyperpix action, but before we do that, we just need to select an image and insert into Photoshop. Uh, guys, it doesn't make any difference what your image is, what size it has, or what subject it is in. It can be a photo uh, of nature, it can be a portrait, it can be an image of a car, or any other design you can imagine. Just notice that uh, the image which you're uh, going to run the a bitmap reaction on it a bitmap might just merge the layers so the final psd which you're going to receive is going to have merged the layers and the first layer is going to be merged so try to select an image uh, which has one background layer so we're going to run the bitmapper on the image guys we have two uh, versions of bitmapper which is Pro version and light version of Bitmapper. So what's the difference? Bitmapper Pro has a huge number and large amount of options and colourful palettes which are so, so complete. And it um, might uh, make uh, take a few minutes to run depending on the speed of your system. Uh, and it, it might take a little longer, but Bitmap and Light uh, doesn't have as many palettes and options compared to the Light version and it's ready uh, sooner and faster. So if you want your results uh, and you're in a rush, uh, I suggested to use the Light version, but if you want all the complete options and settings, uh, I suggest you to use the Pro version. But the result and the outcome of uh, both of them don't make any difference, just you have many more options in the pro version compared to the light version. So I'm going to run my uh, bitmapper right here. So if you want to be witness of the course, you can just open this icon and click play from here. So our action has started to work. And as you see, step by step, one by one, everything's getting made, the options are getting created with the most elegance and the most details and the best settings possible which we have created this product for you right here as you see automatically the system is getting everything done just with a single click so uh i'm not going to take the time of the video i'm just going to put the video on fast forward so we can get faster So. 
So everything's completed. Our action is ready. So we have the success message right here. We're just going to hit stop right here. And we finished. Uh, so uh, let's get on and let's go and see what this product has done for us. I'm going to get to know about the settings and the options. So I'm going to start from uh, the first section. We have the styles group here, which uh, this section is so interesting and attractive. As you see, this product uh, is created for us in free a bitmap effect styles if you check out the details you're going to see how attractive our uh, styles are which each one of these uh, styles has so many different options uh, if you want to see the details more and more uh, you can just select the different options and as you see how free we are to select the options any of these one I want I can just select them any more as added to the number of the options you're going to see much more details in your result for instance this is option number 71 it's like this as you see I'm just going to put on 72 73 add to the number step by step any more is added to the number of the option as you see it's added to the clarity and the details to see how brilliant this product is work on the details I think it's magnificent so you have a total handle and control on the results and as you see how easy you can control everything also you can change the styles this is style number two option 40 43 45 and more and more i just see how the result changes anymore it's added to the uh, number it's added to the clarity of the image and the same when we zoom, we have the sharp bitmap effect, which is added to it. And I think it is amazing. So we have style number one here. The same, we have the options here. All different options. I'm going to start from option number two. Step by step anymore. We go high. We have such a clear image. So depending on your project and your image, you can select one of these styles and one of these options and just get on with it and use that option. Uh, so I'm just going to use uh, option 83 from style number 3, which I have selected. Uh, we come to the pan section right here. So over here, uh, if you just uh, zoom in and check out the details, we have some, uh, for instance, glitches and some little lines. Uh, in our background and in our image which you also have a control on these uh, if i switch off the lines which is uh, small lines as you see these little lines are going to be switched off i can add medium lines which are some like more thick lines as you see uh, compared to the smaller ones and we have the large lines as you see which are much more thick and the width of them is more just like this also i can use all three of them which has uh, more effect on our uh, style also i can just remove the lines so at the bottom right here we have the glitches which also we have three uh, different uh, levels for the glitches we have small glitches as you see these little uh, glitches and for us are small also if you want to change the color you can just uh, select uh, the uh, color change settings right here double click and you can handle the color and change around and you have a control just see how brilliant uh, we have the color change of uh, the large glitches i can do the same and change the color just see how easy it is to do so also if you want you can just select them and drag them all around uh, change the place of the glitches <laughs> place them anywhere you want the same with the medium ones or if you want you can just uh, have a couple of glitches or you can just add to the number of them the easiest way is just get copies of them like I'm going to get a copy of my a medium glitch one more copy another copy and as you see I'm adding to the number of my glitches or you can just switch the whole lathe off and don't have any of them so we're done here with the pan sectioning group so we have the uh, colors group right here which is one of the most interesting parts of this product which uh, gives you the ability to select unlimited colors in your result and use them 
so uh, to make it much easier for you our designers have applied a 48 color palette which are the most special colors which you can use any you want just select them click and see the result and be witness of the result immediately they're so so beautiful and amazing colors which are matched together and uh, by just selecting each one of these you can see the result and uh, the first uh, 24 uh, colors of this palette is uh, colors with combination of black which I have placed here for you as you see uh, but before you uh, click on each one of these uh, colours, you won't know uh, what the colour is going to be uh, in the palette and you, what colour you're going to see on your image. So we also have four of that and we have uh, make, created a guide for you in colour palette, uh, which is a guide and it helps you to just, uh, with a single glance, you can see what colour you like and select it and have the same uh, colour on your image and use it. For instance, I like uh, palette number 33, so I'm not going to waste time. I just come here and I select 33. As you see, it's exactly the same colour which we saw in the guide. You can see it right here. It's exactly the same colour and I think it's such an interesting ability and it helps so much. Also, you can edit any uh, colour you want. Just double click on this icon, click on the section right here. We have two colours in each palette which you can just uh, change the colours and get to some new results. Uh, you can select every single colour, the same from the other side, which it's magnificent and it uh, it lets you be totally free in selecting every single color just like this uh, just uh, guys uh, notice that don't uh, switch the palettes on together I mean don't switch on more than one uh, just one of the layers has to be on so if uh, you add to the number of them and leave them on together uh, the color balance might get a little messed up for instance this is a uh, number 26 it's exactly the same colour which we have here. So now I'm going to select number 25. If I uh, select uh, number 25, uh, as you see, it's a little uh, misty because we haven't switched the uh, one before off. So uh, just leave one on so we can see the original colour. So don't forget about that. And we have two layers at the top right here, which is a grey effect and a noise. Uh, so grey effect is like... Uh, grey colour effect uh, in all your style which it makes your style a little for instance retro which if you like you can use it in your style you can also uh, increase or decrease the opacity from the section right here if you're going to use it uh, the same uh, we have a noise right here uh, which when I switch it on you're going to see a noise all over your style which it also has an opacity and you can control so uh, this was our today's a bit map of Photoshop action product uh, as you was a witness of it just with a single click it created us so many amazing options and was able to turn our image into this bitmap artwork and this bitmap effect so you can use this product in all your different projects poster designs music cover designs t-shirt designs or social media banners or everywhere else you can imagine and you just need to put a little effort and a little time and um give a bitmap effect to your images and use it in all different projects and they're going to be oppressed so thanks for watching this video thanks for following us if you want to uh, download this product you can just refer to our website which the address is hyperpix.net and thanks so much have a great day and thanks for watching bye to a next video